Hello. Hello. Can you see the slides? Okay. Okay. Am I audible clearly? Any distortions in the sound? Okay. 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 Let us uh, start uh, the session on uh, wireless communication. So this is a uh, on a uh, topic IoT Nexus uh, or MOOC course. And I am Thompson Davis, assistant professor in the department of AC. Uh, first uh, introduction, uh, wireless communication. Uh, you all are uh, heard with wireless communication. Uh, wireless communication involves the transmission of information uh, over a distance uh, without the help of uh, physical physical medium that means uh, any wires any cables or any uh, other uh, type of uh, electrical uh, conductors so that is a uh, wireless communication and the most common uh, wireless communication technologies uses uh, radio frequency signals that is known as uh, radio waves rf signals for uh, transmission and reception so we, we require a transmitting antenna uh, for transmission and a receiving antenna for uh, reception. The transmitting distance can be uh, anywhere between a few meters. Uh, for example, uh, if we if we uh, if we are using a, a television remote that based on optical communication, so uh, that means infrared infrared uh, signal is uh, transmitted. Uh, that is uh, in the range of uh, three to five meter or 10 meter and if we are uh, transmitting a, a rf signal uh, using a satellite communication so uh, based on uh, radio, uh, radio communication we can achieve uh, thousands of uh, kilometers that uh, for example we can transmit our signal to uh, america or uh, on the other side of the globe and wireless communication can be used for uh, cellular telephony uh, wireless access of of the internet and wireless uh, home networking etc uh, various protocols are there uh, in uh, wireless communication so this is a uh, basic block diagram of a uh, communication system uh, uh, yeah, wired and wireless so uh, this is a uh, first of all uh, there is a message source uh, suppose we want to transmit our uh, audio signal so uh, for example uh, suppose this is a, a radio so we want to uh, transmit audio signal so our uh, message source of uh, source is uh, a audio signal generator so it is given to an input transducer a transducer which converts one uh, form of energy to another form so here uh, the audio signal is converted to electrical form so that is uh, transmitted uh, using a uh, transmitter so uh, in the transmitter module there is uh, modulation or uh, power amplifier and last uh, there is an antenna so the transmitted signal is uh, passed through the channel. So in our wireless communication, the channel is uh, free space. Uh, free space means the uh, surroundings of the atmosphere. So that is a, a, our channel. And uh, this signal is uh, received by the receiver, receiving antenna. And there is a demodulator and a external uh, and a extra amplifiers are there. And the uh, electrical signal is uh, uh, we get the electrical signal, uh, demodulated electrical signal, and which is uh, converted to uh, our original uh, audio signal uh, using uh, another type of transducer. Uh, here, uh, a loudspeaker is used as uh, a transducer for uh, tra uh, transferring an audio uh, an electrical signal to uh, audio signal. So that is a, a basic block diagram of a communication system. And in the channel, uh, there is a distortion and noise. So many noise or distortion signals are there in the channel. Our channel is uh, a wireless channel. Wireless channel means uh, the atmosphere of free space. So lots of noises or uh, distortions are there, which is added to the uh, signal uh, through the channel. So this is a uh, basic program of a uh, communication uh, system. And uh, <clears throat> various applications of wireless communication are uh, in our area. Uh, uh, various uh, wireless signals are coming uh, for example uh, radio uh, signal television uh, signal uh, cellular signal uh, uh, various navigation signal internet signal and uh, various uh, personal area network signals so 
uh, first of all uh, radio uh, radio is a uh, unidirectional uh, communication uh, protocol that means we can only uh, transmit the signal in only one direction so uh, uh, from the uh, transmitter to a receiver so we cannot transmit any signal uh, to the radio station so that is a uh, radio signal so uh, mainly two types of uh, radio uh, transmissions are there uh, amplitude modulation and the frequency modulation and uh, uh, another uh, in radio uh, only audio signal is transmitted the data rate of audio signal is very low uh, so uh, a and f modulations are there and uh, also a and f is analog modulation schemes uh, similarly uh, various uh, digital modulation schemes are, are also there uh, for example uh, bpsk qpsk qam uh, etc and uh, television signal uh, television uh, standard is used for uh, transmitting video signal so video signal means uh, it is a very large bandwidth signal so video signal consists of uh, uh, picture and uh, audio so various types of uh, television transmissions are there in our area uh, terrestrial transmission uh, cable tv and uh, dth etc uh, these uh, three uh, uses uh, various uh, frequencies for transmission and uh, the most commonly uh, cellular uh, communication so various uh, cellular uh, generations are there uh, 1g 2g 3g 4g and 5g uh, now 5g is uh, available in our uh, area so uh, 1g uh, 1g is an analog system which is uh, already outdated so 2g 3g 4g and 5g are uh, available in our area so uh, these three these four uh, uh, standards uh, uses uh, various RF signals. Uh, similarly, uh, for navigation, we are using uh, radio signals from satellite. Uh, GPS signals are there. Uh, similarly, GPS uh, GPS is from uh, GPS is of uh, US uh, Department of Defense, and uh, various other signals are there. Uh, GLONASS uh, by Russia and uh, Galileo by uh, European Union and uh, Beidou by uh, China. So various uh, navigation. Uh, protocols are there uh, in our mobile uh, this uh, the uh, the uh, antennas for receiving these signals are there and um, uh, internet so wireless internet uh, availability is there so that is known as uh, wi-fi wireless fidelity and uh, various uh, personal area networks uh, are there for communicating uh, devices uh, in a very proximity so for example uh, bluetooth devices are there uh, zigbee devices are which are used for communicating uh, from our phone to our headphone or, or our uh, smartwatch to our uh, mobile phone etc so uh, these are the uh, common applications that we are using uh, nowadays and in our uh, syllabus uh, uh, in our syllabus uh, uh, wi-fi is there and uh, uh, Bluetooth and Zigbee is there, and uh, uh, cellular communications are there. So, uh, first of all, uh, Wi Fi. Uh, so, the Wi Fi uh, logo uh, is uh, shown here. So, Wi Fi is an alliance uh, or group of uh, consortium are there for uh, researching uh, for the better enhancement of Wi Fi. So, Wi Fi is a uh, family of wireless uh, network protocols <coughs> based on uh, IEEE standard uh, 802.11. Uh, family of standards uh, Wi-Fi is uh, commonly used for uh, local area networking uh, local area networking uh, of devices and internet access local area networking uh, or uh, LAN means we can transmit the signal uh, in the uh, area of uh, 100 meters uh, for example uh, inside a campus uh, inside a uh, building or inside a campus so that is uh, local area network so uh, Wired local area networks are there, so which is known as uh, Ethernet, uh, which is wired. So we can uh, connect, we want to connect uh, the Ethernet cable to our laptop uh, for uh, communication. So Wi Fi is uh, wireless uh, LAN, so we don't want to uh, connect any uh, physical cables. The signals are uh, coming from the uh, access point. Uh, access point is the uh, device which, it, uh, which is uh, transmitting the signal. And uh, from the access point uh, to our laptop or mobile phone, the signal is uh, uh, traveling uh, wirelessly. 
So this uh, Wi-Fi allows uh, nearby uh, digital devices to exchange data by uh, radio signals. So uh, about uh, 2.4 gigahertz, so that is that the frequency is uh, used for uh, transmitting uh, internet over uh, Wi-Fi. <clears throat> These are the most widely used computer networks. Uh, so uh, in our day-to-day uh, -day life, uh, we are uh, connecting our mobile phone or uh, laptops uh, commonly uh, to this uh, network, uh, which are uh, used globally in home and uh, small office networks. Uh, in uh, our home, um, there is Wi-Fi uh, router. So to link devices and to provide internet access with uh, wire wireless routers and wireless access points in public places, uh, such as coffee shops, uh, hotels, uh, libraries, and airports uh, to provide uh, visitors. So uh, in our uh, railway station or uh, uh, people gathering uh, areas, there is uh, Wi-Fi routers are there. And we want to register our mobile phone or laptop uh, to this network. And we can uh, use uh, the internet wirelessly. So Wi-Fi was uh, invented by uh, NCR Corporation or AT&T in Netherlands in uh, 1991. So that is the uh, first form of Wi-Fi. And uh, now uh, the various versions are uh, came and uh, the uh, very good speed is obtained. So Wi-Fi is a high speed internet uh, connection and a network connection without the use of any uh, cables of or wires. So we can uh, use internet uh, without uh, connecting any uh, physical wires so uh, and we can move uh, with connection so the wireless network is operating uh, three essential elements that are uh, radio signals antenna and a router so uh, our router is known as access, access point and the radio signals are there uh, which is about uh, 2.4 gigahertz signals are there and uh, antennas are there for uh, transmitting uh, uh, the signals from the router and uh, receiving the signals from our laptop or mobile phone. The radio waves uh, are keys that makes Wi-Fi networking uh, possible. So uh, wireless communication is based on uh, a radio frequency signal. Radio frequency means a high frequency signal. So, and we are uh, modulating our low frequency signal to the high frequency signal and we are transmitting it. The computers and cell phones are uh, ready with uh, Wi-Fi modems. Uh, so uh, in all uh, digital uh, devices uh, there is uh, in most of the digital devices there is, there is a wi-fi modem modem means uh, modulation uh, modem is a short form of modulation and demodulation so uh, we can modulate the signal and transmit it and uh, uh, we can receive the signal and demodulate it with this uh, modem so wi-fi modems are attached to uh, most of the uh, digital devices uh, nowadays and currently, uh, there are uh, many types of uh, Wi-Fi technologies. Uh, these technologies are based on the uh, number of usages and uh, the transmission speed. So various uh, connections are there. 802.11A, uh, 802.11B, 802.11G, and 802.11N. So uh, uh, in our college, uh, we are using 802.11G uh, now. So which have about uh, 54 uh, Mbps, megabits per second uh, speed. So we can uh, easily uh, stream a video signal uh, or watch a movie uh, uh, live uh, using this uh, Wi-Fi networks. So 802.11n is a uh, high speed network. And uh, the advantages and disadvantages of uh, Wi-Fi network a Wi-Fi laptop uh, can be moved from one place to another place. Uh, so Wi-Fi is uh, coming uh, wirelessly. So we can uh, move the laptop uh, uh, with the connection. But if we are uh, connecting uh, a laptop with, a, with an Ethernet cable or a physical uh, cable, uh, we can move uh, with the uh, connection. Uh, Wi-Fi network communication devices without wire can reduce the cost of wires. So we can uh, reduce the cost of um, wires various wires are required if you if we have uh, 100 uh, digital laptops uh, for example uh, in your class uh, 60 student, uh, students are there and all are using uh, laptops and all are uh, uh, required to connect uh, the internet uh, 60 lan cables are required uh, in your class so that is uh, the cost is very high 
uh, for providing uh, 60 uh, separate uh, physical uh, LAN cables or Ethernet cables. So if you are using uh, a Wi-Fi connectivity, so only one access point is required in your class, uh, which can provide uh, the internet uh, to the class. So that is a uh, we can reduce the uh, cost of wires and uh, the movement is uh, freedom of movement is also possible. And Wi-Fi setup and configuration is easy uh, than the uh, cabling process. So uh, we can uh, set up and configure with easy. And it's completely safe and is not uh, interfere with any other networks. So this frequency uh, 2.4, uh, uh, there is we, uh, there is no interference in this frequency. And we can connect internet uh, wirelessly uh, via hotspots. So access points uh, are also known as hotspots. Uh, so uh, uh, we can uh, transmit uh, the signals uh, from our laptop. So that is known as a hotspot. So some uh, disadvantages are there uh, for Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi generates uh, radiations which can harm the uh, human health. So Wi-Fi uh, is a powerful radiation which is about uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So which uh, causes uh, some uh, health hazards. So that is a uh, main disadvantage of Wi-Fi. So we must disconnect the Wi-Fi connection whenever we are not using the server. So if we are not using uh, internet, so so we so we must uh, disconnect the uh, connection. Otherwise, uh, the RF signal is uh, the carrier signal is uh, always uh, transmitting, so which causes uh, health uh, hazards. So there are uh, there are some limits to transfer the data. Uh, we can't able to transfer the data for long distance. So uh, Wi-Fi is a wireless LAN protocol. So LAN is intended for uh, only uh, 100 meters uh, from the antenna. So uh, we can transmit the signal uh, in a campus only. So in a building or in a uh, campus only. So uh, long distance communication is not possible with the uh, Wi-Fi protocol. And Wi-Fi implementation is very expensive when compared to uh, wired connection. So uh, that means uh, the cost of wire is uh, less, but uh, the uh, uh, cost of access points and the uh, location uh, selection. So that is uh, a complex process. So this is a uh, disadvantage of uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, next is the uh, applications of Wi-Fi. So we are using a Wi-Fi in our day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, so uh, mobile applications are there. So we can use uh, mobile uh, Wi-Fi in mobile devices and the uh, business applications are there. Uh, so business uh, purposes, we can use uh, Wi-Fi and uh, home applications, home automation or uh, uh, any applications, we can uh, use the Wi-Fi and the browsing internets and uh, video conferencing. So our now uh, we are in a, uh, online class which is an example of uh, video conferencing so uh, video is uh, transmitting uh, in this uh, class so some limitations are there uh, the range is limited so we are uh, discussed earlier so only uh, 100 meter uh, because this is a uh, wireless LAN. so only uh, 100 meter uh, range is provided by uh, wi-fi and in reference uh, from other uh, devices like uh, micro ovens uh, telephones etc so uh, any uh, other high power uh, signals are coming from uh, uh, micro ovens, which also works on uh, 2.45 gigahertz, uh, but uh, very high power device. Micro oven is a very high power device. So uh, there's a chance for uh, interference. And uh, uh, telephones, uh, which are using 2.4 gigahertz, uh, which also provide, uh, which also uh, cause some uh, disturbance. And the power consumption is very high. Uh, we already said that the radiation from Wi-Fi is a uh, very high power. So uh, the power consumption is uh, very high and uh, risk of uh, data security uh, because there is no uh, physical connection is there is no uh, dedicated connection is there. So only uh, wireless communication is there. So uh, the uh, risk of uh, data security is there. So that is a uh, limitations. So that is uh, uh, all about uh, Wi-Fi. So any uh, questions on Wi-Fi? Hello. Any any doubts on Wi-Fi? Hello. Nothing, sir. No. Okay. Okay. Then we can move to uh, next uh, topic. Uh, next topic: uh, Bluetooth. 
so this is a logo of bluetooth uh, we are all uh, familiar with uh, bluetooth so bluetooth is a, a universal standard for uh, short range wireless uh, voice and data communication so very short uh, short range that means it is a uh, personal area network so uh, wi-fi is a uh, wlan wireless local area network but this uh, bluetooth is a wpan uh, wireless personal area network so that means uh, the range is very very low so very very low means only <clears throat> 10 meter range is uh, possible uh, uh, with this uh, bluetooth uh, standard uh, inside a room so that is a mm, that is a uh, range for uh, bluetooth but in uh, wi-fi uh, inside a campus or inside a building so that is a, a range of uh, wi-fi and it is a wireless uh, personal area network technology and it is used for exchanging data over a smaller distance a very smaller distance and this technology is invented by ericsson in 1940 uh, 1994 so that is a, a crude form of uh, bluetooth technology which is uh, advanced and now we are using uh, a, a better speed uh, bluetooth so various versions are there uh, it operates on uh, unlicensed industrial scientific and medical band uh, 2.42 2.485 gigahertz so wi-fi also uses this unlicensed band uh, ism band ism band means uh, it is a uh, it is uh, industrial uh, scientific and medical band so which is used for experimental applications and uh, low power applications and the maximum devices that can be connected uh, is uh, at a time uh, to a uh, host device is uh, only seven so we can connect up to seven devices to a host device and the bluetooth ranges up to uh, 10 meters uh, that means uh, we can communicate uh, various devices with the bluetooth technology uh, inside a room so 10 meters means uh, 33 feet and it provides a data rate up to uh, 1 to 3 mbps uh, depending upon the version so the latest version provides about uh, 3 mbps so, but in case of Wi-Fi, uh, 54 uh, Mbps is the uh, speed for uh, 802.11G. So um, that are uh, using in our college now. And the advantages uh, of Bluetooth, it is a low cost and uh, easy to uh, use a device. So low cost uh, and easy to use, and it can penetrate uh, to through walls that means uh, rf signals are used for communication uh, which can penetrate so we are studied uh, electromagnetic theory uh, so we can uh, the radio signal can penetrate uh, through walls and it can uh, create an ad hoc connection immediately without any wires uh, an ad hoc connection means uh, before transmission we want to uh, establish the connection so that is known as uh, ad hoc uh, network but in case of um, other network, for example, radio, uh, radio transmission is there uh, uh, from the transmitter. When we are uh, 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 turning on our radio, the uh, signal uh, is received, but always the signal is transmitted. But in case of uh, an ad hoc network, uh, after establishing a connection, only the signal is transmitted. So uh, that uh, that is known as uh, commonly known as a pairing. So we want to uh, pair our uh, Bluetooth device to our uh, mobile phone. Uh, for example, uh, we want to uh, transfer a song. We want to, uh, to wirelessly transfer a uh, song uh, from the uh, mobile phone to uh, wireless headphone. So uh, before that, we want to uh, pair the uh, device. So that pairing means uh, ad hoc connection. And it is used for uh, voice and data transfer. So voice, uh, voice is a uh, low bandwidth signal so only uh, small data rate signal is there and uh, small data uh, rate signal can be uh, transmitted using bluetooth and uh, the disadvantage is it can be hacked and hence uh, less secure so uh, the uh, vulnerability is uh, very high so we can uh, easily hack the uh, bluetooth uh, bluetooth uh, transmission and it has a uh, slow data rate uh, only up to uh, 3 megabits per second and uh, its range is also very low uh, only three uh, only 10 meters uh, that means uh, inside a room and bluetooth uh, communication uh, does not uh, support a routing so routing means um, from a router uh, 
uh, the signal is uh, transmitted so that is uh, routing so bluetooth devices are um, peer to peer connection that means from the uh, transmitting device to the receiving uh, device uh, directly so uh, bluetooth technology uh, doesn't uh, uses any uh, routing protocols and the issues of handoffs have not been uh, addressed the handoff means uh, when we are uh, moving uh, so the connection uh, will be lost so that is a uh, problem in uh, bluetooth so when we are uh, moving away from the uh, transmitter if the uh, distance between the transmitter and receiver is greater than 10 meter the connection will be lost so that is a uh, uh, handoff problem <clears throat> And the various applications of uh, Bluetooth is it can be used in laptops uh, and in wireless uh, PCs and printers. So uh, printer means we can uh, print a document. So document uh, data rate is uh, very small. So we can use uh, Bluetooth for uh, connecting a printer to a uh, computing device. So it can be used in uh, wireless headsets, wireless personal area networks, and uh, wireless LANs uh, and LANs. So uh, we can uh, connect a wireless headset uh, to a mobile phone uh, using this bluetooth technology and it can connect to a digital camera wirelessly uh, to a mobile phone uh, that means if you want to uh, transmit a photo from the camera uh, to a mobile phone for viewing so uh, we can connect the phone to the mobile device uh, wirelessly using uh, bluetooth and it can transfer uh, data in terms of videos uh, songs photographs or files from one cell phone to another cell phone or computer uh, provided that the data rate is uh, very small only low resolution videos uh, or songs uh, can be uh, transferred using uh, bluetooth technology and it is used uh, in the sectors of medical healthcare uh, sports and fitness and military applications so uh, in medical and healthcare uh, various electrodes are uh, connected uh, on a human body and the data are transmitted to a computing device uh, or a mobile phone uh, using uh, Bluetooth technology. So uh, we can, the patient is uh, free from uh, uh, many wires. So that is a um, advantage. And uh, sports and fitness, so we are using uh, the smart uh, watches are there, uh, so which uh, constantly monitors our blood pressure, uh, uh, etc. Uh, heart rate uh, spo2 etc so which is uh, wirelessly transferred to a uh, monitoring device so that is a uh, application of uh, bluetooth so next is sigbi uh, uh, next is sigbi uh, technology so this is a uh, logo of sigbi uh, technology sigbi is a uh, standard based on uh, there is a uh, advanced version of uh, Bluetooth technology, uh, similar to Bluetooth technology. And Zigbee is a standard uh, based on wireless technology development of, to enable low cost, uh, low power uh, wireless uh, machine to machine and uh, Internet of Things network. So this is a, a very low power uh, network compared to uh, Bluetooth. And Zigbee is a, a personal radio network a standard uh, 802.15.4. Uh, Bluetooth is uh, 802.15.1, but this uh, Zigbee is uh, 802.15.4. 802.15 means uh, personal area network, and uh, uh, Bluetooth and Zigbee are uh, various versions of this uh, network. And it is a technology of uh, home networking. So we want to uh, network our home, uh, we can use uh, Zigbee. And Zigbee is a technological standard created for controlling and sensing the network. So we can control uh, various devices uh, using IoT uh, using uh, this uh, Zigbee technology. The name uh, Zigbee is uh, derived from uh, the uh, consider the honeybee, so uh, which are traveling uh, one flower to another uh, flower uh, for. Uh, collecting uh, pollen uh, in a zigzag manner, so not uh, directly uh, in a optimized manner. So they are uh, traveling uh, one flower to another flower in a zigzag uh, manner. So similarly, the Zigbee technology uh, transfer uh, packets uh, in a mesh network in a zigzag manner. So that's why the name uh, Zigbee technology. And various uh, characteristics of Zigbee. So only uh, very low power is required for uh, the 
protocol uh, for communication and only uh, low data rate uh, signals can be transmitted uh, bluetooth can tra uh, transmit up to 3 megabits per second but this sigb uh, uh, can transmit up to only uh, 250 uh, kilobits uh, per second and the uh, range is uh, increased than uh, bluetooth uh, bluetooth can only uh, transmit up to 10 meters but this sigb uh, can uh, transmit up to uh, 100 meters and uh, network joining time network uh, is very uh, small that means uh, under her connection is established uh, within uh, 30 millisecond and uh, support small and uh, large networks so theoretically uh, we can connect uh, 65000 devices but uh, practically uh, 240 devices can be connected but in case of uh, bluetooth technology only seven devices can be uh, connected simultaneously uh, to a uh, host device and low cost uh, of products and uh, cheap implementation so uh, the product cost is uh, very less and uh, implementation cost is very less because uh, open source protocol is uh, provided with sigby and uh, extremely uh, low duty cycle and uh, three uh, frequency band with uh, 27 uh, channels are using for transmission in uh, sigby and the various applications of SIGBI, uh, uh, mainly SIGBI uh, protocol is used for home automation uh, and uh, medical uh, data collection, uh, similarly, uh, like Bluetooth and industrial uh, control systems. Uh, for example, uh, there is a furnace, and if the, if the temperature is uh, rising above uh, some threshold value, uh, it is sensed uh, by a sensor and it is uh, transmitted to the uh, control panel uh, using this SIGBI uh, application and the meter reading system so uh, energy or uh, uh, water uh, consumption uh, can be uh, readed by uh, this uh, sigmic technology and a light control system and commercial applications and uh, home networking so these uh, these are the uh, main applications of sigbi uh, Uh, any doubts on Bluetooth and Zigbee? Uh, both are uh, from uh, personal area network protocol. Any doubts? Any doubts on? Uh... Hello? No, sir. Okay, then move, uh, we can move to the uh, next topic, uh, cellular communication. cellular communication uh, so this is also known as uh, mobile technology mm, in our uh, hand uh, the, we have a mo mobile device which works on uh, cellular technology uh, cellular technology means uh, that uh, the total area of uh, our globe is divided into uh, various cells so uh, each cell have a uh, trans uh, transmitting or receiving transmitting and receiving antenna uh, which is known as a transceiver transmitter plus a receiver so that is commonly known as a, a tower mobile tower so uh, we can uh, our we have uh, a mobile device in our hand and we can communicate with this uh, mobile tower and uh, honeycomb structure is uh, used for uh, cell fabrication uh, that means uh, if we are uh, using multiple cells uh, there is no uh, void spaces are there in all uh, in other uh, uh, shapes uh, void spaces will be created so uh, honeycomb structure is used for uh, user as a uh, uh, cell structure cell shape and uh, uh, mobile devices uh, in our hand so we can uh, move uh, using uh, in connection so we can uh, call a person and we can move uh, from one cell to another so <clears throat> global mobility is uh, provided global mobility means so we can uh, move anywhere uh, with this with our uh, mobile devices and we can communicate to our uh, nearby transceiver uh, that uh, transceiver or uh, uh, commonly known as uh, mobile tower and in uh, cellular communications only the end connections are wireless uh, the mobile tower uh, to our mobile uh, phone so uh, the end connections is wireless and all other connections are uh, wired so various uh, generations are there 
uh, in cellular technology. Uh, now we are uh, using uh, 5G in our uh, college or para area. And the uh, various uh, previous technologies are there 1G, 2G, 3G, uh, 4G. Uh, and now we are using uh, 5G. So this is a uh, 1G technology, which is uh, first generation. 1G means uh, first generation technology. Uh, first generation uh, cellular and cordless cell phone networks are based on analog circuit switching. So various uh, switching technologies are there, uh, circuit switching and packet switching. So analog uh, circuit switching technology is used in uh, one first generation technology, uh, which is uh, introduced uh, in 1980 in USA, USA, <coughs> 1980s, uh, this technology is uh, implemented and which uses uh, FDMA, Frequency Division Multiple Access technology, uh, uh, is used for uh, this technology and uh, 800 to 900 megahertz uh, frequency bands are used uh, for communication. And uh, uh, in 1G mobile technology, only uh, voice uh, can be transmitted. And uh, various examples are uh, AMBS and TSS. So AMBS are uh, US American technology and uh, TSS is a European uh, technology. And various limitations of uh, 1G and uh, 1G can support only uh, speech, only voice can be transmitted. And a uh, low uh, trans, uh, traffic capacity, uh, because the bandwidth is very low and unreliable handover. Uh, handover means uh, when we are uh, traveling one cell to another cell, uh, the communication will be uh, transferred from one mobile tower to another mobile tower. So that is known as uh, handoff. Unreliable handoff are, uh, handoffs are there in 1G technology. That means uh, sometimes the call is dropped. So long uh, call setup time. So if you want to uh, set up a call, so long time process is required and the frequency call drops uh, due to uh, unreliable uh, handoff, handover. And uh, because this is analog technology, which uses uh, high power uh, transmission, so only pure uh, battery life is there. And uh, unlock, uh, since we are using analog technology, uh, very, very pure, very poor uh, voice quality is there because uh, the noise is more noise is added to the signal. So, and uh, large uh, size of handset used for uh, 1G technology and allow users to make voice calls within a country only. So that means uh, we can uh, call people uh, within a country. So that is a disadvantage of uh, 1G. Then uh, the second generation came so uh, second generation, it is determined that the improved battery performance and a higher signal quality are possible only by employing uh, digital technologies. 1G technology uses uh, analog technology. That's why uh, more noise is added to the signal and we want to uh, transmit uh, more power signal. So that is a disadvantage. And if we are using a digital technology, so we can reduce the power, transmission power. So that's why uh, second generation came. All second generation systems uses a digital voice coding and digital modulation techniques. Uh, various uh, examples of digital technology are uh, BPSK, QPSK, uh, QAM, BFSK, etc. So various digital technologies are there. And uh, the second uh, generation technology is uh, commonly known as GSM, which is uh, which is stands for Global System for Mobile Communication. So that is a European standard. In India, uh, we are using this uh, GSM standard. The US standards are uh, TDMA and CDMA. So uh, uh, the European standard is uh, GSM. So 2G technology supports data, speech, fax, SMS, and wireless application protocol services. So various <clears throat> other services than uh, voice transmission is incorporated with uh, 2G technology. And the 2G networks uh, uses uh, 1.8 1 gigahertz or uh, 1800 megahertz frequency for uh, transmission and some limitations are there in uh, 2g so that uh, in uh, 2g uh, digital voice transmission is uh, introduced and uh, only low data rate signals can be uh, data rate signals can be transmitted through uh, 2g so uh, data rate up to 9.6 kbps to uh, 28.8 kbps and uh, uh, 1g technology uses uh, uh, circuit uh, switching this is also uh, circuit synced uh, technology uh, that is a uh, limitation and uh, 
the end systems are dedicated for uh, entire cold duration and uh, inefficient uh, usage of bandwidth and resources so uh, bandwidth usage and uh, is uh, not uh, optimized so that is a, a disadvantage so uh, next is uh, 2.5g so which uh, enhances the data rate speed but uh, voice transmission is same so the need for increased uh, throughput data rate in digital uh, data in data transmission such as uh, web browsing and email so this lead to evaluation of uh, evolution of uh, 2.5g so that is a uh, 2.5g means it is an interim between 2g and 3g so uh, it is an interim standard uh, between 2g and 3g and the mobile technology uh, uses uh, two different technologies are there uh, in 2.5g first one is known as uh, gprs and the second one is known as edge so this uh, gprs is a general packet radio service so it, which is a, a more enhanced data rate is there so and uh, and edge has uh, an advanced data rate so edge full form is enhanced data rate for uh, gsm evolution so commonly uh, GPRC is known as uh, 2.5G and uh, EDG is known as uh, 2.75G. Uh, next uh, 3G uh, communication systems came. So uh, the aim of uh, 3G wireless networks is to provide a single set of standards that can meet a wide range of wireless application and provide a universal access through the world. So uh, in 2G, uh, there is voice transmission, uh, data transmission, fax, etc., which uses uh, separate protocols. But in case of 3G, a unified protocol is used for uh, all these uh, data. So the, the 3G networks uh, can carry all type of informations like uh, voice, uh, data, and video, etc. Uh, video means uh, a small data rate video can be a small resolution, a small data rate video can be uh, transmitted using uh, 3G. And they serve both uh, stationary usage and vehicle uh, usage traveling at high speed. So uh, stationary usage means uh, we can provide uh, more uh, speed, but in case of uh, traveling user, uh, the uh, data rate will be uh, less compared to uh, stationary usage. And packet radio communication is uh, used in 3G networks. Uh, in 1G and 2G, circuit switching is used for uh, networking, but uh, packet communication is packet switching is used in uh, 3g networks and the 3g technology has added multimedia facilities uh, to uh, 2.5g uh, phones 2.5g means uh, and 2.75g that means uh, gprs and edge phones so the frequency uh, of operation is uh, 1.71 gigahertz and 2.17 uh, gigahertz between 1.71 and 2.17 gigahertz uh, in short, uh, 3G is a wireless network technology that provides high-speed bandwidth to handheld devices. So that is uh, 3G. And uh, next is uh, 4G. 4G is an uh, advanced data rate version of 3G. Uh, 4G generation works. 4G uh, generation networks emerged as the data optimized technology with the promise of speed improvements up to tenfold over existing uh, 3g technologies so we can uh, achieve uh, 10 times uh, speed than uh, 3g networks with uh, 4g technology it is basically the extension of uh, 3g technology with more bandwidth and services uh, offers in 3g and the 4g technology have high uh, high quality audio or video streaming over end-to-end -end internet protocol so we can uh, a stream a movie or a video conferencing call we can conduct a video conferencing call using uh, 4g with a smooth uh, video uh, transmission so which uses internet protocol for transmitting all the uh, various uh, signals like uh, a speech signal or, or a voice signal uh, video signal and internet signal etc the transmission rates of 4G will up to uh, 220 Mbps, uh, higher than that of uh, 3G. The first two commercially available 4G technologies are uh, WiMAX and uh, the LTE standard. So we are uh, using uh, LTE. Uh, LTE is the uh, 4G standard of uh, GSM. So LTE is the uh, short form of uh, long term evolution. So, and the 4G networks, uh, packet switching over internet uh, 
lan or wan networks via uh, voice or ip so we can uh, conduct a call or uh, call means a voice transmission is there so we can uh, <coughs> transfer voice uh, using the internet protocol so which is known as uh, voice over ip and uh, <coughs> 4g technology provides uh, ultra wideband access of uh, mobile uh, devices so we ultra wide uh, ultra broadband means a very uh, large data rate uh, signals can be transmitted using this 4g technology and 4g can deliver uh, uh, up to 100 mbps uh, for a <coughs> roaming mobile roaming means uh, the user is uh, traveling so that is not roaming so we can provide uh, up to uh, 100 mbps for a traveling customer and uh, up to 1 gbps for a stationary device so if if the uh user is uh, sitting in a room so we can provide uh, that means his mobile device is uh, stationary with the mobile tower so we can provide a higher data rate up to 1 gbps but if the uh, user is traveling with his mobile phone in a car so we can provide a less data rate signal so uh, 4g is uh, can be written as www that man that means uh, worldwide uh, wireless web and uh, 4G allows for video conferencing, uh, streaming picture, uh, pe uh, picture perfect video uh, for uh, telemetric application. So uh, video conferencing uh, can be done very easily using this uh, very high data rate signal uh, 4G. Uh, true 4G must also be uh, able to offer uh, smooth handovers across uh, different networks. So if we are traveling from one cell to another cell, uh, handoff is there, handover is there. So in 4G, uh, smooth handovers are provided. That means the call is uh, not uh, disconnected or our uh, video streaming is not buffered uh, from uh, if we are uh, traveling from one cell to another cell uh, using uh, 4G. So our uh, high, our quality of service is very high. And in uh, 4G technology, the parallel uh, circuit switched and packet switched networks, network nodes, are eliminated using uh, IP uh, v6 internet protocol uh, version 6 so uh, IP protocol is used for 4g network so so the circuit switching and packet switching is uh, outdated in 4g and uh, the latest technology is uh, 5g in our area so uh, complete wireless communication with uh, almost or no limitations so we can uh, communicate a very communicate with a very high data rate so it is uh, highly supportable to uh, uh, www that means uh, worldwide wireless web and high speed and high capacity is there so we can uh, transmit a high data rate signal for example a hd video or a uh, very picture perfect very high quality uh, video using uh, this 5g technology uh, 5G technology provides large broadcasting of data in uh, gigabits per second. And the multimedia newspapers uh, watch TV programs with uh, the clarity as so that of HD quality. So we can uh, transmit a uh, HD quality uh, signal, that means a, a 720p uh, video signal using this uh, 5G technology. So faster data transmission that of uh, previous generations compared to previous generations. Uh, very large very uh, fast data transmission is there so uh, we can uh, download a movie with uh, less time because the data transfer rate is uh, very large and a large phone memory uh, dialing speed uh, clarity in audio and video is provided in uh, 5g uh, phones or 5g technology uh, supports interactive uh, multimedia voice or streaming video internet etc very high speed and 5g is uh, most effective and uh, more attractive so more attractive means uh, we can uh, provide uh, a signal very quickly to the uh, mobile device so that means the technology becomes more attractive so this is uh, 5g so these are the uh, various uh, devices used in various technologies uh, first one is a 1g uh, mobile phone so that is uh, example of ambs american mobile phone system so that is a 1G, that is an analog system. Uh, second one is a 2G technology, that uh, that is a Nokia uh, 3310 mobile. And uh, the th third one is a 3G technology uh, mobile phone uh, from um, BlackBerry. 
and uh, uh, 4G. And uh, fourth one is uh, an iPhone, uh, 4G iPhone, and the fifth one is a uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, 5G mobile. So these are the uh, various uh, devices which uses uh, various technologies. And uh, these are the uh, technologies uh, inside uh, 1G. So uh, 1G can only uh, use for voice transmission, only voice is there and in 2g and voices and the messages are there uh, message means sms uh, messages are there uh, in 1g analog voice is transmitted and in 2g uh, the voice uh, become uh, digital modulated and uh, messages is there and in 3g uh, voice messages and uh, internet uh, can be provided and in 4g uh, voice messages internet and uh, low data uh, low data rate uh, signals uh, lower data rate uh, video signals uh, can be transmitted and in 5g uh, almost all applications we can use 5g uh, first one is iot and uh, high speed internet can be provided and uh, uh, messages can be transmitted and uh, uh, next one is a uh, wireless charging we can provide wireless charging uh, battery we can uh, charge our battery wirelessly and uh, next one is uh, voice and uh, uh, last one is uh, ultra uh, HD, very um, high data rate video uh, can be transmitted uh, using this uh, 5G technology. So that's the uh, end of uh, cellular technology. So hello. So the topics uh, on uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee and uh, uh, cellular technology that's our uh, syllabus in uh, wireless communication uh, that is completed any doubts from any of the topic hello any doubts no okay. doubt sir okay then we can uh, stop now hello if you have any doubt uh, you can message me or uh, mail me okay coordinator hello Okay, then we can stop. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, students. Okay. Thank you, sir. I thank Dr. Thompson Davis for his informative class. Your dedication to teaching has made a positive impact, and I appreciate the knowledge and insight you've shared about wireless communication. We are grateful for your guidance. Thank you, sir. I also thank all the active participants. Thank you.